International League title for the fourth consecutive year.
And when we've been there ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to see God's grace than Monica, how's it feel? It feels awesome! We played a great game, everyone played super, super well. We tried our best with everything on the court and it's great to get the victory. How do you feel about how your daughter played today? I think she did a wonderful job. She's got a little uh, ball under the end of her thumb and she came back, stood strong. I'm really proud of her. And the girls just really demonstrated how much they can come together for a big game. I'm so happy for them. And uh, Anna, Anna's block at the very end there was just tremendous. It put the seal on the deal. Was there any moment during uh, these three games where you felt that uh, it could get away from you guys? It was at that moment when they got it up to about 21 all. I thought, okay, we got to get a point here to stop their momentum, and we did. And I think we got another point. It was 21, 23, 21, and then Anna Goodwin got that incredible block. That was a great uh, way to end. Best block of the season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I guess that was the 24th point, but that uh, took the wind out of their sails for sure. And actually, Monica served really well. She had an ace in there as well uh, that got us, I think, to 22 or 23. So, what's what is it that makes you proudest of your team? Every single practice, they, they're out there, and you can tell that they'll come in and say, oh, I'm really tired, I don't really want to be here. But once we get warmed up and we start doing drills, man, they are fired up, they're ready to go. And they're a good, they're a tight-knit bunch, they've got a good camaraderie, uh, they stay positive even when bad things happen, you know, stay positive with each other, don't get down on each other, which I've seen teams just go crazy on each other and get destroyed because of it. Um, yeah, so I think it's the camaraderie and the fact that they just, they, 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 give, they, they, they try, they just, they really do uh, give their best whenever they come out, whether it be practice or in a game. So how do you feel about how your daughter played today? Well, I, I've seen Krista really improve in the last couple of years and uh, I'm really uh, proud that she's doing a better job. Uh, and all the girls are just wonderful. Uh, it's, it's such a privilege to watch them play and, and I get excited over the whole thing. What is it that uh, you feel volleyball contributes to your daughter's life? I think uh, confidence. Uh, I think teamwork. Um, the camaraderie with the other girls. And it also, I think, it, it, it toughens up their personality. You know, it makes them realize that you are going to make mistakes in life and you have to overcome them and you have to do better because you owe it to your teammates. So, um, how did you enjoy watching your daughter play today? Yeah, it was great. It's uh, very enjoyable. A lot of excitement. Uh, just coming down off the adrenaline rush. She uh, took a little bit of a hit there. Is she okay now? Yeah, she's fine. I think so. <laughs> she's a pretty tough girl, huh? Yeah. <laughs>
Astros. How does it feel to win this <laughs> Tell us what it took for your team to get this far. It really, ha I think we won it in the first game when we were down and we came back. So that was just like mental strength and trusting each other and we just got it done. <laughs> and we kept it going. Oh, we were so great. We definitely could have done it without all of our fans though. Thank you guys all for coming. How does it feel? It feels amazing. I can't believe we're actually going to say it's the coolest thing in the entire world. So what effect on your team did winning that first game have? Now, um, as, as underclassmen, what do you recommend for other girls out there who are watching, maybe in 8th grade, 7th grade? What does it take to, uh, you know, to play at this level? Um, just try your best and have try fun. Try your best, have fun, and, and yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Put your whole Caitlin, you played a great game. You've had an awesome season. What do you want to say to your teammates? You guys did great. It's been a great season. And we still got one more game. We're still going to state, so it's not over yet. That's right, going to um, state. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you.
How's it feel? <laughs> the second game, it was closer, but we still won. And then the third game, it was like super close. It was like 24, 25, then they got 25, then we got 26, and they got 26, and then so creepy, and then unfortunately they won. But then last game, we came back. All right, way to go, ladies. You played awesome. Okay, um, Caitlin, could you share with us um, just what your experiences have been with Mr. Bradley as a coach in these four years? Um, he's been one of the best coaches I've ever had. Uh, he, he keeps the team calm when we're getting excited and stuff. Uh, he's just been really awesome and there was this one experience um, that I had in one of the playoff games this year. Uh, there was a a gr the other team hit a ball and it went in and the rat the line judge didn't see it and she she said uh, I didn't see it and the main ref was like well I don't know what to call so I'll just call it out and Mr. Bradley was all like um, he he made a gesture saying it was in and the main ref called me over and said um, I thought I was gonna get in trouble <laughs> but he just said uh, tell your coach that I've been coaching refing for 25 years and I've never seen um, a coach who has such great sportsmanship and that was kind of like that just what Mr. Bradley is he just he has great sportsmanship and he's a great coach and he leads our team to victory so um, Caitlin you're a senior now um, graduating four years ago when you were gonna be a freshman um, what made you decide to come to St. Monica High School? Well, um, when I was choosing high schools, I really wanted to go to a really big volleyball school. Um, I was, I love volleyball and, I mean, I still do, but um, that was my main thing in going into high school was for volleyball. And um, my mom wanted me to go to a smaller school with a, where it had better academics and uh, she felt it would be better for my faith, formation in my faith. And at first I was kind of upset about it. Um, but it's been good because now looking back at it, I would never have had this experience that I've had. And um, I wouldn't be on a winning volleyball team. I wouldn't be winning championships. I wouldn't have been MVP. But those things aren't the most important. What what I realize now is that being at St. Monica's, the academics, the so, the stuff I've learned from the faith, the um, the friends I made, the teachers, um, that's what's most important to me, and that's what I've learned from my experience. Kristen, you're um, a graduating senior, and um, you played for the St. Monica volleyball team three years now. Can you share with us some of your experiences with um, Mr. Bradley as a coach? Well, I've got to know him pretty well considering he's been my coach for three years. He's so hardworking. He's put so much time into the team and into helping us all improve in our weaknesses, mind setting, of course. <laughs> um, I think what makes him such a great coach is that volleyball is so important to him that it inspires us to work not just for ourselves but to improve as a team and um, make him happy. Like, I work so hard, not because I just wanna win, but because I wanna make my coach proud of us. He has put so much time and effort into making the team strong and organizing schedules and helping us improve and tediously planning out practices and tournaments. He deserves a reward and I think this season was definitely the best reward he could have asked for. You know, individual people like me or Monica who weren't that great from the start but with Mr. Bradley's help we've definitely improved a lot. 
Um, without his help along the way, our team would be nowhere. He invests himself in every player and wants us all to improve and helps us all improve where we need improvement. And collaboratively, we make a great team because we're all solid players. We all have our weaknesses, but we all also have our strengths, which together make us almost invincible. So, um, Kristen, what, what part of your volleyball game do you think has improved um, under Mr. Bradley, you know, having him as your coach? Um, coming to St. Monica's my sophomore year, I was the only one who could set besides Caitlin, but she, of course, was going to be the outside hitter. So I became the setter, and setting wasn't my favorite thing. I actually really liked defense, so I wanted to be libero, but I was happy to do whatever Mr. Bradley wanted me to do, and um, he's definitely helped me improve. I mean, I could barely set it out to Caitlin's spot when she was ready to get a hit my sophomore year, but it's almost effortless now. Mr. Bradley has taught me a lot about setting. He got me a setter's ball last year, which is a ball that's a little bit heavier than all the other ones to make it easier to set further and higher up. And without that, I don't know what I would be able to do with the volleyball because I'm not that strong otherwise. <laughs> Monica, you're a graduating senior and you've played with the St. Monica volleyball team three years now. Um, what has been your experience with uh, Mr. Bradley as a coach? Mr. Bradley has been an awesome coach. He's a really good balance of intense and motivating when we need it, but also like he doesn't yell at us too much and he really knows how to refocus us and get us motivated and get rid of our nervous energy and just get us playing our best within the first few points of high pressure games. Um, because obviously when you're in the second round of state, you're going to start out with some nerves. Um, but after the first couple points in the games, he if we're super jittery, he'll call a timeout and say, all right, you guys have to stop. Like, this is this could be your last game. Like, play your heart out. Um, so I think he's done a really great job in bringing out the best of us in every game. Kristen, Caitlin, and Monica, um, three of you are graduating seniors. You've um, played together three years on this team, and uh, you've been really the backbone of this team. I'd like you to just talk about, you know, the chemistry, uh, how you've developed that, and uh, what it's like to play together. Well, it's most certainly comforting having two girls that I've played with the last three years on the court all the time. Monica knows the rotations better than anyone on the team. She can tell anyone where to go at any moment. Um, and Caitlin is like a volleyball ninja. You know, she's like, <laughs> she's like magnetic. Wherever the ball goes, she goes. So you know that wherever you bump it or set it, like she's gonna hit it obviously because she's like amazing. <laughs> But I think what makes us work so well together is that, you know, we're not just teammates. <laughs> They're like my sisters. <laughs> so sorry. You know, they're like my best friends. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay.